Hello everyone, my name is Sam from iSense USA. In this video, I would like to show you how to pair KetoSense BT to your phone via SmartLog mobile application. It is very important to download and install SmartLog onto your phone, so please go to your Android or iOS app store to download and install SmartLog. Uh, for your reference, I am using iPhone. Uh, if you have different operating system, the app may look slightly different. However, it's overall the same uh, process. Make sure you have Bluetooth on. Um, for this video, I have disabled my network so that I can avoid receiving any push notification. So let's just jump right in. And this first step is really for uh, people who have uh, tried multiple times and keep on failing. And, and this will help you how to resolve that. So first of all, let's go to Smart Log. Bottom right, there's more. Second from the top, there's accessories. Now, if you see, you may or may not see KetoSense BT on the list under registered device. Uh, if so, and you have failed connecting, please delete KetoSense BT. Now, let's go to your phone setting. When you go to phone setting, you'll see a, a section where you can see the Bluetooth paired devices. Uh, under that list, you will see KetoSense BT four digits if you do not completely find KetoSense BT. Now let's make sure to forget this device from your phone. So this phone has no information about this meter whatsoever. Now we, now we did all of that step, we can go into the official step. Let's go to Smart Log, bottom right, More, go to Accessories. Now, scroll down to find KetoSense BT right here. If you do not see KetoSense BT, um, you can update your app, uh, which you may have not, or you can also choose glucose meter parentheses, iSense parentheses. For now, I will use KetoSense BT. Click that, register. When you see this screen, please uh, press and hold right arrow button for three seconds. From there, you're going to see BT yes blinking. Now, when you see yes blinking, press just click S button. You see number two on the meter on your phone. Next, one or two. Of course, you choose two. Now, you press search. You see four uh, KetoSense BT four digits. The four digits are the uh, four digits of last uh, serial number that you see on the back of the meter. When you see this, select. Now, very important step. After you press pair here, you'll see this screen on the meter, BT pair, yes blinking. Here, you have to click S button to successfully pair. If you didn't do the last step, you have to uh, go back to the beginning of this video and delete from your phone, delete from your app, and then redo the process. It is very important to do the very last step of uh, clicking the S button. If you don't have uh, any data, you see this screen. If you do have any data, uh, you would see uh, results here. So let me show you how the data actually does get transferred. So our device, when uh, after you measure and taking out the test strip, that action triggers Bluetooth signal. So if you actually go to your phone setting, you would realize, you would notice that KetoSense BT1724 or whichever your serial number is, says this not connected because this is not triggering any Bluetooth signal. So you need KetoSense test strip. Like that. Make sure you insert this part of the test strip into the meter, not the other way around. Pointy part is facing you, and the barcode looking part goes into the meter. After three seconds, you will see this screen and this symbol, meaning that it's ready to receive blood sample. Now obviously, you need Lansing device and lancets. Take out the Lansing device cap, insert the Lancet all the way you hear, click sound. 
you'll notice that the button has turned orange. That means it's loaded. Uh, take out the cap of lens set, put that on the side, put this cap back onto the lensing device. You can control your depth of needle by doing by going from zero to all the way to five. Uh, I usually use three. Again, the lancet is loaded by having this orange shown on the button. Make sure you cock back just in case. Now, gather some blood on your finger, gently press against your skin, push this button, gather some blood. Very important, the blood sample goes on a very tip of the test strip, not anywhere else, not on top, not on the green dot, always the tip. After uh, eight seconds, you would find your ketone level in your body. It is real time ketone level in your body. So I see that I uh, do 0 0.2. So from here, when you take out the test strip, the data gets transferred over. So you can use the test strip ejector, of course, which I can show you how to use right here. You can take out the test strip like so. Bluetooth signal triggers and the data gets transferred over. And from there, you can uh, simply press save. And there it is. That's how you pair KetoSense BT onto your mobile application. Uh, you can discard the Lancet by taking out the cap and uh, stab the Lancet cap with the needle. And you use this to push up and you're done.